Hey, what's up everyone? So today I'm gonna share with you guys stuff that I use for every run, every day, uh, part of my routine every morning when I'm running out here in Fresno, California. So the first thing you're gonna need for running obviously is shorts, shoes, shirt maybe for guys it's optional in the summertime but uh, you want to get yourself some good shoes um, right now I've been really wearing um, Hoka's a lot this is the Hoka Rincon I should probably do a shoe review on this because I've already run about a hundred miles uh, whatever is comfortable for your foot but just get some nice shoes socks uh, shorts um, and then you're good to go I mean here's another part of the apparel hat protect yourself from the sun um, wear that every day and I like to wear some sunglasses just kind of keep my eyes protected from the sun and it helps me relax a little bit during the run also like to get some sunscreen it's always good to protect yourself especially out here in Fresno where it gets up to 100 degrees uh, I think today it was already 80 degrees by 8 a.m. so uh, personally I like to get the run done early in the morning somewhere between 6 and 7:30. So I really can't run without music. Um, I've invested in these AirPods. Um, really good, you just pop them in and you're good to go. I still use the iPod. Um, so I just have all the songs that I like on there. I just pop them in, you know, and pretty soon, before you know it, you got five, six, seven miles done. And um, time just flies when you're listening to music that you like. So I definitely recommend getting some AirPods. It's important to have some tape handy. You never know what you need to tape. Uh, marathon runners uh, need to tape the nips, uh, especially, uh, because you don't want to be you know, doing a post-race interview and you're just like bleeding or something. And I'll either wear a hat or I'll wear a um, headband. Um, what else we got? Oh, okay, here we go. This is the foot log. Um, so I roll the bottom of my foot on this. Um, every day before I run and it just helps loosen up that plantar fasciitis if you have it or it just kind of keeps the bottom of your foot uh, flexible and loose um, so I definitely recommend this everything that I'm showing you guys I'll put links to in the description so you can get it too because uh, I got this as uh, recommended by another runner's YouTube video so um, it's really good kind of gets in there and uh, helps your foot out a lot I'll also roll out with the R8 roll recovery and I've had this for almost probably six years. Uh, probably need to upgrade. I know they have a new uh, model out. Um, but yeah, this is really good. You just roll your leg on all sides of the leg, um, calf, uh, glutes. Um, so yeah, it gets everything. I would definitely recommend every runner have one of these. I don't use this every day, but it's kind of good to have. It's um, a Graston tool. And it's good to break up the scar tissue. Um, you can use lotion and just kind of, uh, I know sprinters use this a lot. So I got this on Amazon. I'll put the link in the bottom. Maybe it could be helpful for you. Um, it's a weird shape so it can get every different curve, Achilles, heel, uh, bottom of the foot, anywhere you need to help break up some scar tissue. And the other shoes I got here are the Vaporfly 4% and for really fast stuff or track races, I have these Adidas spikes. So this is for the really fast stuff. I got spikes here. I might even use these in a couple days for a mile time trial. I'll keep you guys posted. Um, so yeah, once I'm rolled out, uh, I'll do some drills, high knee skips, leg swings, stuff like that for like five minutes. Um, maybe a little jogging, a little walking, get some water. Always good to have some water handy. So stay hydrated out there, especially in a hot place like Fresno, California. Um, and then after that, I'm pretty much ready to go. Um, so you just get to where you're going to run, roll out, get your gear, music, drills, and you're ready to go. That's something I do every day. It's kind of become a routine. If it was a hard workout or a race, there might be some more things added, like some strides, two-mile warm-up, stuff like that. 
but for everyday runs this is pretty much it um, you just want to get a little bit loosened up before you start running and even when you do start the normal easy run um, the first mile will be pretty easy um, you're not really even looking at your watch so that's how I start my mornings that's how I start most of my runs so one thing I forgot to mention was the watch probably the most important thing um, this is the Garmin Forerunner 235 and it has the wrist based heart rate so uh, it's a really good overall watch for a runner keep track of your daily runs and you get the Garmin Connect app and you can see a lot of stats so definitely recommend getting a Garmin watch and it'll take your training to a whole new level so if you like this video you got anything out of it hit the subscribe button I'll be coming out with some more running videos in the near future and until then good luck with your racing and training later